Good morning and welcome to business. A business environment report by policy think tank Imani Ghana has portrayed the business environment from 2011 to 2016 as a struggling one. The report cited high cost of borrowing and high tax rates among other, several other factors accounting for the challenges businesses have gone through within the period under review. Speaking to Joy Business, head of business at the Imani Ghana, Abuaji Minta, however, indicated the business environment will not suffer because of the upcoming elections. The report highlighted five key areas, including exchange rate volatility, high cost of borrowing, power supply, inflation and high tax rates as major challenges that burden companies. These, according to the head of business at Imani Ghana, Abuajiminta, were as a result of this link between monetary and fiscal policies, among other factors. Another problem we found out is that there seemed to be this incoherence in monetary policy and fiscal policy. And that is a major, major problem. You cannot have a situation whereby the Bank of Ghana is, on the one hand, is working differently, seem to be reading a different set of notes. And, and the government, on the other hand, seems to be reading a different set of notes. You've had situations in this country where Bank of Ghana or certain ministers are literally convincing um, uh, banks to reduce to reduce lending rates. Whilst, right on the other hand, government is also borrowing heavily and increasing um, treasury bills. So what you have is that if they can borrow, if they can lend easily to government, what happens? So that drives um, um, lending rates up. So that's another problem that we had, and we thought it was rather unfortunate. You know, because you would assume that there will be a properly running economic management team, but it doesn't seem to be the case. And all of these factors have worked to create the mess that we find ourselves in. He denied assertions that the upcoming elections impact on businesses owing to measures put in place by government so far to forestall such inconsistencies. Every election impacts on, on the business environment. Um, in the past, we've seen that um, the, the, the economics of, of an election year is, 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 is typified by wanton spending. But we see now that this government is quite determined to ensure that it's, it controls its spending. That's extremely commendable. What that means is that businesses you know, have, some lose, you know, have some leeway to work properly because when there's so much spending, inflation goes up and it creates more problems. And so that's commendable. We hope that it continues throughout the election and, and that we can start working properly next year. Mr. Bwajem Mensah advised government to endeavor to implement business policies to prevent drawbacks inimical to their sustenance. The Chamber of Petroleum Consumers says its checks indicate diesel prices have seen an increase of between 8 and 11 percent at the pumps, while petrol prices have also gone up between 3 and 5 percent across several BDCs and OMCs. Speaking on Joy Business, Business Mixed Back Program Business Life, the executive secretary of the chamber, Duncan Amwa, said the sharp increases are attributed to world crude market price rebound. If most electronic products uh, at filling stations are down, and uh, what is going on is that I believe most are rather affecting uh, the changes uh, that have come about uh, as a result of world market uh, figures uh, going up uh, sharply as we uh, put out last week. Indeed, for what we gather from industry, uh, petrol, which is a PMS, is doing between uh, 3 to 5 percent for most of the BDCs and uh, OMCs across board. And uh, you have diesel uh, rather doing between 8 to 11 percent uh, for this uh, current window. So as we speak, uh, I can confirm to you that Total uh, has already uh, released uh, the figures and uh, they have reviewed from uh, the 3.63 uh, previous levels per litre to 3.750 uh, current uh, pump trading figures. So, indeed, yes, uh, prices okay. have gone up if, uh, if you check. Uh, right. cost, but I'm sure the, 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 the real impact or the real effect uh, will be felt from uh, the evening close to uh, tomorrow morning. And that's all in business for now. Let's meet again at midday for more business news updates. My name is Emmanuel Abwaji. We are